So um, the next um, project uh, is a, it's an ongoing project and is a series of photograph, photographs, <laughs> um, which I did in collaboration with um, different teams, um, including fashion, um, commercial photographers, stylists, makeup artists, um, and companies. And the idea was kind of to solve this idea of authorship, that there is only one person working on a project, which is kind of obsolete, but still in the artwork you still have to have the signature, um, otherwise the artwork is not um, valuable, or you still have to have a certificate, or you still have to have one name on, on, on something. And, and so I, I tried to kind of discuss this um, uh, issue uh, because of course it's not true that even if it says this and this name, there was a big team working on the thing and the, the artist didn't really produce the things because we had to hire companies to do certain things, but people still kind of don't talk about it. So I was interested in this production um, background and kind of put it in the foreground and uh, become a part of my work. And um, so um, I was invited for an exhibition, for a solo exhibition, and. Um, for this exhibition, I um, asked Adidas um, to collaborate on this project, and um, I did a series of portraits, self-portraits, if you can see, but of course they were done by different people. So there were self-portraits of myself, but done by different people, which is the paradox. Um, but um, and um, I wanted to play with these all kind of cliches what people expect from a female artist. So. Either she has to be tough, or she has to be beautiful, or she has to, you know, um, have all these kind of different um, attitudes. And um, um, so, in this case, I kind of um, um, uh, got the inspiration from like old master species because they also usually uh, only uh, show men, and by men, by men, there are just few female artists. Um, so, in this case, um, the female artist as a appears as a kind of tough Amazon woman, um, so it's the motive of a writer, which usually was a man, but in this case it's a woman. And, um, it was a very fun project with um, Berlin-based fashion photographer Ali Kempenek and, um, and a team of other people. And, um, and these um, photographs were shown um, in the exhibition space, and I have to say, most of the works I have done were shown only in the art context. Not, they were not used for corporate purposes. And there were contracts, so there are always contracts, which um, uh, particularly say where can be these images used and where not, and where people have to negotiate in case they want to use it for commercial purposes. And, um, Um, the next series was a um, um, collaboration with MS Paris and uh, it was also a Fernanda exhibition and um, I asked them to work together on this project and the people were very open-minded and it was very nice to kind of start a discussion and um, I have to say because that's what people always ask me, do, do they tell you what they want or do, do you um, you make a presentation or something. I have to say I was lucky until now that I always kind of convinced the people and had a carte blanche to do whatever I want and then when the things were finished they actually saw the, the results and until now everyone was okay with what happened. And so in this case it was very, um, uh, again this idea based on old masters um, but um, uh, figures like Napoleon or um, Venus of Botticelli, the, the Lane Macha by Goya. And um, uh, in this case, um, I show these works in an exhibition space, but at the same time, also at the store, at, at some stores um, all over the world for Hermes, which was interesting because you had two different audiences but sometimes they mixed because then people wanted to see more and came to the museum or the other way, uh, vice versa, people went to the store and saw the exhibition there. And that was interesting because then I met a lot of people who were not from the art world but who suddenly got interested into the idea of visiting also uh, contemporary art spaces and, 
and the other way around. Yeah. And there was another um, work I did together with Levi's. And um, this is a collaboration with um, the stocking company Walford and um, a photographer Bettina Comenda, who is a fashion photographer based in Vienna and in Paris. And um, um, the, the idea was kind of like, uh, I mean, as I said, the uh, expectations of the cliches of a beautiful, sexy woman, um, femme fatale. They were based kind of on a David Lynch movie, kind of secretive, um, kind of weird, strange. <laughs> and uh, we did the photographs in a, in a hotel in Italy, um, designed by Gio Ponti, who used to be a designer in the 50s, 60s. And it's a very beautiful hotel. It has these beautiful tilings. Each room has different tiles. And, yeah. And um, at this point, I decided because I, I started to be kind of worried because every time I showed these photographs, people saw only the result. And, and what I was more interested in was this kind of um, the structures behind actually the production. But people couldn't really see it, and they thought it was like beautiful photographs, or oh, she thinks she's a model now or something. But that, that wasn't the, uh, I wasn't, that wasn't what I was interested in. I didn't want to be just shown as a beautiful woman or whatever. So what I was more interested in was this kind of um, construction place uh, where you see that things are not perfect at all. And um, I don't know. When you see this, you don't see that the bike is stuck between two Coca-Cola boxes and there is someone with a fan and, and it doesn't look perfect at all, but on the picture it looks perfect. And, and you see me here that there were like thousands of mosquitoes <laughs> and it was really painful to lay in the grass because it was awfully hot and I had this kind of, I don't know what kind of material it is, but they were like sticking to my head <laughs> and all the people passing by thought we are completely crazy. <laughs> um, so um, what I did for this exhibition where these pieces were shown, I did one photograph live and we kind of reconstructed one of the spaces from the hotel and and um, then the entire process from the very beginning, which where people see also it takes such a long time to get the makeup, to you know, get all the stuff together, the light and um, and people just could come and go and come back and see you know where we are at and then in the end we took the picture and then some weeks later I would hang it together to the other pieces and um, so it was more this kind of also performative act and showing this kind of construction place. And this was a collaboration with uh, with the Castillo Garcia, which is a Spanish label, not so well known in Central Europe or in England, but in Spanish and Portuguese speaking countries, it's quite a Spanish label. And, um, yeah, they also designed some special pieces for me because the idea was about this nomad. Um, artist is a nomad because you always travel, you, you always have to adapt to new people, new spaces, um, new ideas. 